YouTube. This is going to be a video on the uh, lights for my Intermountain ES44 AC. This is the uh, first run they did, um, number 5764, and the lights are pretty dim. Now I know right now they look kind of bright, but that's just because of the light sensor in my phone here, but maybe if you look closely you'll see the ditch lights especially are very, very dim. And the headlights, nothing too spectacular. Let's see if I can find something to compare it to here. One second. Oh boy. There we go. Compared to. much brighter. So, um, I am waiting on a uh, light board replacement one for my BNSF there, and ideally, when it's all done, it'll look about as bright as this, so stay tuned. Well guys, this is why I like Intermountain Railway Company so much. I called Intermountain about the light board, and they said they'd send me a new one for free, and all I have to do is install it, and within a few days I got this nice box here um, and the light board inside. So, there it is. I'll just wire it into the socket and be good to go. So, that is customer service right there. Even if their locomotives weren't great, the customer service makes it better. But they make um, probably the best uh, HO scale Jivo currently available at least. In fact, I think it's the only one, but for the most part I don't have any complaints. So, Intermountain Railway, good job here. As for my YouTube uh, viewers here, stay tuned and I will uh, work on installing this thing. Alrighty guys, I got the shell off here. It was fairly simple. You just have to uh, unhook these handrails here and of course the ones in the front too. Um, if you see right, right there. They hook into the front, and you don't want to break those, obviously. So, uh, upon further inspection here, there are three light boards. There's one in here, there's one up at the front, and there's another one at the front right there. Which makes sense, because all the wires are coming from the one socket, and there is one socket and three light boards here. So, I think at this point, it's just a matter, matter of swapping out the light boards and um, going from there. So I will uh, plug this in and um, show you guys what we got, so stay tuned. Alright YouTube, well I got the lights installed and the old ones out, obviously. Um, and there's a few things here, then I'll just uh, show you here. So first off, I pulled the old boards out. They were uh, tied together with little twisty ties, but I didn't want to mess up the other wires, so I just cut them and pulled them through. So these are the old light boards, and here's the little socket thing uh, that was in there. So I did pull them all out and replace them, and what I want you to look at real close here is the LED here, it says LED1, as you see right there, uh, no you don't, let's try this, here we go, the actual LED which is that yellow looking thing, I guess they use SMDs on here, um, or at least the really micro LEDs. Um, but it's in the LED 1 slot, and the LED 2 slot is blank, and LED 1 is for the rear light. And on the new board, um, unfortunately, the LED is in the LED 2 slot, which I don't know exactly how Inner Mountain manufactures stuff, but as we know, BNSF has the light in the middle, at least on the Inner Mountain HO models. Um, so, I think they accidentally gave me a board, or maybe they don't have a replacement board with the light on the second slot for the uh, um, BNSF model. So, the light's in the wrong spot, and as I'll show you here, you kinda can't see anything, really, for the rear light. The locomotive's in reverse. If you look closely, you'll see the inside is lit up, and I will say the light is very bright, but it's blocked by a black plastic wall because it thinks the light is up here in the top. So that's the only thing wrong with it really. 
Um, everything else is much brighter, easier to see, and I'll show you a comparison at the end of the video. Um, but I will switch to forward here. And as you can see there, it uh, is much brighter. I really like the way this looks. Um, originally, these projects that I've been doing lately were to prevent me from getting a new locomotive, but rather make my old ones much better. But in the end, I'm still looking at getting a new one altogether, because I, uh, I really like this. So um, that is it, YouTube. Thank you for watching, and look for more videos in the future.